Today's video is sponsored by Honey. What's going on everyone? It's me, terrible lighting Alex the Rambler here. You join me in an attic in the UK. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. Now I just wanted to introduce the video. Uh, it's going to be a disaster save, a grease one. So this should be good fun. There won't be the webcam for the rest of the video because let's let's face it. This whole setup is very temporary. I'm heading back to Canada. Probably be back to Canada by the time this video goes out. But I wanted to get a disaster save done. Haven't done one in a long time. So please do comment, like and subscribe if you want to. Wait until the end of the video to make a decision if you want. Or just smash that. Smash it. Maybe 5,000 likes for a disaster. Another one. Please. Engagement. So what we have today, this one's sent in by Gregory Schmaug. I need help. I'm playing Greece and I did the path to form Greater Greece or Hellas and then that went fine but I forgot about Rose being Italian and the fact that the Germans now have divisions and Italy is naval invading me left and right and they even took Athens. My capital is Constantinople so it wasn't too bad. However, the Italians have taken all of Eastern Greece and my manpower situation is dire and I needed to go to service by requirement. I have artillery and guns but lacking support equipment and trains. I'm holding pretty well in the north, but we'll see. Uh, but the front was split in two when Italy naval invaded central Macedonia and gave it to Bulgaria. If you can help me, that would be greatly appreciated. And it's on Iron Man. Oh god, Iron Man. Oh no, 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 no. So, here we have a little Iron Man Kingdom of Greece. Let's just see how bad it is. Hell. Ass. Right? Oh my god, this lighting is so terrible. I can't, I can't do anything about it, guys. I can't do anything about it today. Okay, so, um, yeah. <laughs> Not looking great, is it? Uh, but, you know, let's let's see. We can't get achievements because there's a modified... Get... That's probably because it's changed PCs, I would presume, to my PC. Hopefully. Okay, this is the situation. It looks like the Allies. We are in the Allies, so we've got that going for us. Uh, which is nice. I hope. How did this happen, though? How did Italy manage to take all of the? I'm just so... I'm, I'm, uh, we're also... Appear to be getting beaten back here. And that's also a pain in the uh, Aris there. If we're looking at the equipment... Oh, I did this earlier. I switched it. Um, so I looked at the save very briefly. I actually looked this time. <laughs> Uh, and the convoys, uh, I've switched it to convoys. It was making a battleship, but as you can see, we're very much lacking in convoys. We do actually have a battleship. Impressive. We're starting to lack fuel. We're starting to lack logistics fulfillment, particularly trains. Uh, looks like we've got, actually, I can click on this. We have enough infantry equipment. We do need more support equipment and a few more trains. So let's just knock that back off. Knock that off. And start getting some desperately needed other stuff being supplied. And if we take a look at the supply map mode, uh, you can see we're in a bit of a pickle, aren't we? We're in a bit of a pickle. I am quite petrified if the Germans actually start to use these panzers. Will uh, cavalry hold the line? Oh, that's not perfect. And it looks like that they could just beat off that French division there. And in terms of factories, we've only got 12 military and one civilian. Ouch. Uh, I think I will have to do elevated engineering core. What kind of stats can we give here? Uh, yes, definitely give max entrenchment for our field marshal. Then we can assign a new one, maybe an improv expert for that fellow. I'll just keep on... Does this... Can anyone give me anything to do with supply? Yet. Uh, yes. So, uh, yeah, our cavalry units here, I think that they were probably just plopped out. We do have Spartans. Hmm, I don't know about this. I mean, we've got the entrenchment and we've got a load of artillery and just some infantry, but I think we're probably better off staying behind the river line here. So I'm going to change, rather not lose Adrianople. Is that the Canadian? Oh, we've got the Raj coming in. So the allies are actually are actually helping us a little bit so we do have that going for us which is 
Nice. Uh, I don't think we want those divisions here. I'm actually going to get them to go back and hopefully they'll sail away. Because the 14 divisions here, we're going to be taking an absolute hammering and it's, supply is a real big problemo. And obviously I can't build anything because I don't have any civilian factories. I'm a little scared that I won't do this because I've not had great luck recently with disaster saves, but we'll give it a try. I'm tempted to honestly abandon the rest of Greece, but, sorry, the rest of T Anatolia. But if I can just hold, I'm gonna try and get a couple of units here so we don't have to worry about Constantinople getting, well, I'm actually pretty petrified that Constantinople's just gonna get naval invaded. Oh yeah, Bulgaria's not in the war, but they're in the Axis, but they're not in the war. That's gonna change, and if that does, I think we are completely and utterly screwed. Where have all my civilian factories got? Looks like I'm going to get some civilian factories now. Again, it's not worth the trade for the tungsten. We're not getting any rubber. Giggity. I am really not confident we will hold if Bulgaria invade us. In fact, I am actually going to stick at least one unit on Constantinople because I'm so scared of what will happen. Here is just sad. We're taking so much attrition. But it's Italy, right? So I'm going to get a couple more units out and try and stick them over there. I'm loathe to get rid of these entirely. Have to see how things go. Yeah, you can already see that they're, they're pounding over here. Yeah, let's let's reinforce that if we can. Otherwise, Constantinople is in dire straits. And we've lost that tile. Okay, so uh, yeah, yeah, they can all they can all stay in Constantinople and entrench. I may abandon this part and withdraw to just just this section for now. Oh dear. Yeah, this is a this is a tough spot. I'm just going to slowly get our forces out because the supply here is really, really atrocious. So they're on patrol. I think we're going to have them on convoy escort for now. And I think maybe a line of forts. Yeah, when the Germans are using their panzers, it's leaving us in a bit of a dicey situation. But we are getting units out. The supply is still obviously horrible here, but we'll just have to endure because I don't really think the Axis have a whole lot of other targets at the moment. Oh, wow. Oh, UK, what are you doing? Well, I guess they're not going to get naval. Looks like they're winning in Italy, though. Or at least they would be if they would just finish them off. But I think the Allies are trying to send a fair amount of troops to make sure I don't die, which I'll try not to. Oh, oh, oh. We're on free trade, which is not really... Yeah, no. I'm going to go to limited exports and see if that solves our steel issue. And of course it does for the most part. So we actually have some factories again. And now for some words from today's sponsor, Honey. Honey is the number one shopping tool in America. But what does Honey do, I hear you say? Well, it automatically searches for promo codes so you don't have to. It scours and searches for promo codes online, works on a ton of your favorite websites, uh, if you, whether you're shopping for video games, food, new technology. One of the best things about Honey is it's free and it saves you money, potentially. And a little fun fact, when there is a coupon, Honey finds a discount of 18% on average. That's pretty chonky. And when you save a little bit of money, you do get a little bit of a rush, don't you? Right. If this sounds enticing to you and you'd like to support the channel, make sure to click on that link in the description or go to joinhoney.com slash Alex the Rambler. That's joinhoney.com slash Alex the Rambler and get yourself honey today. You better be leave. It's a great product. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but thank you again to Honey for sponsoring today's video. Oh, they're already attacking Constantinople. Seriously? Bloody Nora. Just, just leave off, would you? Leave off. Leave off, sir. Leave it. Leave me alone. Um, we'll stick another unit there. I don't think that the Germans are going to get through, at least. Looks like that's a problemo. <laughs> no air. Oh, do behave. We just had such a hard time, like, falling back in good order. The Germans, when they go to war with uh, the Soviets, that's got to help our situation. Because at the moment, this truly is... Oh, and somehow they pushed through here. Ay, ay, ay. I didn't even look at research. Tanks. Nope, no tanks. Uh, what about artillery? We got that going for us? Oh, we need more. Oh. 
Greece? I don't feel so good. But we've got Aristotle, so, you know, maybe he'll do... <laughs> wow, the most casualties against the Germans are from us. Italy, I think. Uh, yeah, we're almost second in... Ca oh, oh, and... Wow. So Hellas are uh, performing like the chads that we uh, know they are, but I'm just going to remove an infantry just to help the manpower a smidge and supply. So in terms of the supply region, this one we're okay. This one is the one with Athens, right? Yeah. So it's it's these points here. So maybe I should just withdraw to where we're going to have okay supply. We'll see how this unfolds. I know as Spartans, I probably shouldn't be looking to retreat, but that's what we're doing. We're, we're moving back to more defensible, well, the final defensible part of Greece. Oh, hello. That might help me a little smidge. Probably not. The oh, you go Slavia. You've had so long and you have nothing. All right. I think I'm in a stable-ish position, sort of. <laughs> Oof. Okay, yes, look, we can see most of our troops have supply. Uh, if I were to try and naval invade Athens, would that... Oh, crap. Uh, yeah, didn't mean to do that, lads. Didn't mean to do that. No, no. Just a little naval invasion. We're just doing a little bit of a cheeky... A cheeky deeky naval invasion. See if they actually have anything around Athens. Because if they left Athens, then I'm then I may try and go on the push here. A little push! Shush, 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 shush. It's almost like they know the AI, doesn't it? It's almost like they know what I was planning. You hackers! Are we gonna get there? They're gonna get there before I could. What a shame. Maybe they're just trying to get out. Oh no, they're just leaving. They left it. They're trying to get out. Maybe we'll actually take it because they won't be entrenched and we've actually got fire support, I think, coming in. Wouldn't that be an absolute hoot? 99. Go on, son. Oh, we took Athens back. Wellity, wellity, woo. Oh. Yugoslavia already capitulated. That's... I mean, it's not great, is it? When that happens within a few seconds. But uh, I'll try and link up my forces, at least. Just so they have uh, extra access to the supply zones. Okay, hopefully it won't be too long before they go after, you know, uh, Russia and we can all just be having a jolly taking our territory back taking it back i am going to stick a division in athens because i really don't want to lose it i'm just trying to keep um all of my beach heads alive oh they're sending more troops in okay let's go back to corinth here just hold mate just to, oh my days uh, i can't lose athens again how oh just pin 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 until we can entrench and hopefully push back all right, we'll just 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 hey, hold them there then. Just 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 let let them do that. Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, please, please let it be that Germany is gonna go after the Soviets soon. The, you gotta, right? Oh, they've even sent they even sent tanks over here. I don't know why I'm surprised that the enemy's trying to beat me. Right? <laughs> How do why are they sending that stuff over? It's BS. There you go. That's what we were waiting for. Bulgaria to join. That uh, is bad. Oh boy. I'm surprised that they didn't honestly get them in quicker. They've committed so much of their strength here. Bloody sausage. No, you gotta, you gotta stay there for a minute, mate. You gotta wait till the rest, of, till the rest can get out. Okay, so we'll try and uh, do a defense of Constantinople. Uh, like the. <laughs> Guys, it's just like the fall of the Byzantine Empire, isn't it? I'm, I'm a bit confused as to if this is getting better, worse, or about the same as when I started. <laughs> what I'm unhappy about is the supply in Constantinople. And I'm considering just leaving. No supply connection. Oh... No. There's got to be a port in constant. Look at that chonky naval base. But we don't control the Bosphorus Strait. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, I need to leave Constantinople then. Can can I actually... Oh, no. 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 Oh, no. I've made a vet... I've made such a miscalculation. Oh, they're all surround... Can we get out? We've got to be able to get out. That's a serious miscalculation. Wow. 
It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. I'm gonna go make a tea. Oh, jeez. Come on, Alex, you're better than this. Oh. I actually can't believe I've been such a silly sausage here. It's horrifying. Such a shame that our battleship isn't even able to... Oh, do much here. Uh, uh, let's just get it to convoy raid, I guess, and it can just try and f*** up the enemy a little bit. Because Please our divisions day. here are slowly... Oh, yeah, baby! Thank you, Japan, for doing that. Want to join the Allies now? Oh, and the final unit. Oh, that's... Oh, dear. Constantinople's for... Oh, 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 no. Ouch. <laughs> Also, if my sound levels are a bit off, I apologise. I, I am once and again in a, in a temporary recording situation, so it's a bit tricky. Yeah. It's still just support equipment we're lacking. We, we have a surplus of everything else. So once we can get the support equipment up and running, that might go better for us. Can I get more mountaineers out, though? That might be nice. One. That'll do. In terms of supply, though, we our supply is absolutely fine. It's the allies that are just overwhelming their own supply, like the silly sausages they are. Okay, yeah, they're doing lots of attacks to try and break my positions. I decided to go for a coffee rather than tea. As a, I think this is gonna, this is this is not going well. I think for now, I I am gonna do desperate defense. I need the extra forty-five days of oh, and then they stop attack. Oh, for pity, sake. why are we? <sighs> Please stop. Let me live. <laughs> Come on. They've got to go after. They're, they're, you've got to go after Russia soon, mate. Don't be a wally. Hold on. The Italians sent their navy out, and unfortunately, is that my cruiser that got sunk? And they're retreating. No! The British navy's retreating? You bastards. You bastards. Japan is justifying against us, though, so that might mean that the USA will join our motley little crew. Mmm. 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 Yeah, take away your 32 odd divisions. They broke it. They broke it. Oh, good. Oh, good. At least they'll have that to distract them, because surely. Surely now. Oh, and the Soviets can invade Italy from down here. That's nice. And there you go. Yeah. They haven't really got as many troops away from the border as I would have liked, but they don't have any supply here, uh, so they're, they're kind of a little... So I'm just taking back a couple of... A couple of little ditties. Look at me. I have the supply now. <laughs> We've cost the enemy 100,000 infantry equipment? Wow. What in the heck has happened here? Oh my giddly goo. They've only gone and done it. Well, do I dare? Do I dare try and push here? I think I dare. Yeah, it's mainly just the Italians in, in Anatolia. Or Turkey, I should say. But Mexico's joined, which is nice. Oh, come on, Soviets. Although the Germans have already lost a million men just in the, since the start of that war, I believe. Yeah, the Soviets are, are taking down a lot of them, which I think has let us take back Constantinople, etc. And it looks like I might actually take back this uh, region down here. And then I, I'm a bit concerned if I try and push here, it's not going to go great up in the north. But I guess I can try and do a little probing attack, maybe. Probe them. Oh, they've lost Constantinople again. I think they might hold that, though. Oh, my goodness me. What an absolute move here. I do love the naval invasions when the Allies do them, That when it benefits me, that is. Oh, they're spreading. Oh, they're pulling a spready. They are pulling a massive spready. It's just great seeing the Germans with so little supply. It really is. It really does wet my whistle. Just the fact that my... Uh, I have I have no anti... What? I have no anti-tank in my divisions, yet they can still push them. I wonder. It'd be hilarious if we could actually break that tile and then uh, encircle those. Is that actually working? Oh, do behave. Oh, that, 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 that would have been good. That would have been good. Oh, how confusing. Well, I guess you'll die. There we go. That's a nice 30,000 Italians gone. Uh, that's going to be another 30,000 Italians gone in a second. Whee! Kablamo! I'm going to see if I can actually link up with the Allies here. And then that will vastly expand the front, I think. Yeah, I think once we take back Constantinople and our territory is complete, that's where the disaster save, I would say, 
is saved. I don't know if you would agree with me or not, but um, feeling like we're not in a disastrous situation. It's such a shock what one uh, a year in game, can, like the situation can just sh change so drastically. In fact, I know they're not fully trained, but uh, we have the new Spartan recruits <laughs> ready to try and... Oh yeah, let's lead, get Beard Guy to lead them. Let's see if we uh, can take it back. And we'll attack from both sides. The Roman Empire will live once more for Hellas. There we go. The Spartans are at the gates. Or do we not control the straits so I can't actually go over? Okay, it's up to the Spartan recruits to try and... Oh, dear. Oh, no. There we go. I sent over reinforcements. We, we did the old reverse boogaloo. Floppity-doo. Bish-bash-bosh. In we go. Uh, so I think that this isn't really a disaster anymore. Um, especially where we're just completely forcing them out. Let's take back Adrianople as well. Just for, sh just for giggles. Just for fun and giggles, eh? But that's pretty much every tile of Hellas retaken. Uh, so that's where I'm going to call this disaster save. Saved! So of course, if you do want to support the channel by comment, liking and subscribing, please do! Leave a like for the first disaster success I've had in like two months. <laughs> and if you want to see more, uh, please do, of course, let me know in the comments below. But it's goodbye from me today. For today, I should say. <laughs> Ta-da! From me, for now. I'll see you back in Canada. I might already be back. And thanks for Honey for sponsoring the video too. Ta-da! Many thanks to Turquoise Zong, Ian Clark, Kim Eric, Richard Cruz, Amazon Fulfillment Strategist, Daniel Orr, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Onion Duck, Zachariah Mosby, Chancellor64, Jack Troku, Jiggly Crotch, Logan Whaley, and Bash for being champions of the Rambler cult here on YouTube. And many thanks to all the other patrons too!